it's Krista with ArtisticVegan.com and welcome to my kitchen and YouTube channel and another Artistic Vegan show. Today we are making vegan mayonnaise two ways as well as vegan ranch two ways. And we'll be making one that is avocado based and then another that is tofu based. These are low fat, really healthy alternatives and they're so flavorful, really easy to whip up. So let's go ahead and get right into how to make them. For the tofu based mayonnaise, you'll need one block of silken firm tofu, preferably organic and non-GMO, one tablespoon plus one half teaspoon of white vinegar, one and one half tablespoon of lime or lemon juice that's freshly squeezed, one teaspoon of salt, or you can use plus or minus to taste, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, and two tablespoons of water. You want to mix that together in a food processor or with a little handheld blender until it's really nice and creamy, and then pop that in your fridge for about 30 minutes to let the flavors come together, and then you can use that anywhere that you would use your vegan mayonnaise and to make it with avocado it's the same exact thing just replace the tofu with one large avocado or about one cup of avocado you can also use small avocados until you get to about a cup and then mix that together the same way until it's really nice and creamy and you have a luxurious fantastic sandwich spread and you can also use it in a potato salad or however you'd like and normally there's a cup of oil plus eggs and everything else so you're saving all that fat and you're getting it with healthy fats from the avocado and the protein if you use the tofu so these are great and the reason why I'm interested in even making a vegan mayonnaise because Truthfully, I wasn't really huge on mayonnaise growing up, but I was on ranch, and I didn't realize that ranch, it has a base of mayonnaise. So let's go ahead and make the ranch recipe, and I'll show you how to make that. So you will need one cup of either your avocado mayonnaise or your tofu-based mayonnaise. You can also buy store-bought vegan variety. One half cup of sour cream. I demoed how to do that in the last show, and I'll link that below. Two teaspoons of lemon or lime juice two teaspoons of dried parsley or you can use about a tablespoon of fresh that's um, freshly diced and minced a teaspoon of dill a teaspoon of chives now i was out but, and couldn't find any in our town but if you happen to have them please do add them it will make a difference on the flavor one half teaspoon garlic powder one half teaspoon onion powder a half teaspoon of salt or you can use plus or minus to taste a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter cup of dairy-free milk of choice. I use a coconut base, but really you can use whatever you would like. And then you just wanna mix those together until it's really nice and creamy. I just put it in a container and then you whisk it together and then you have vegan ranch. You wanna put that in the fridge for about one hour to marinate. And if you're gonna do it with the avocado, it's the same ways. And then you just add everything together in a jar or in a container and whisk it together and you have your vegan ranch and this is an avocado based ranch, how cool is that? Then add your lime or lemon juice, I'm using the lime, it complements the avocado very well, your dairy free milk, and some fresh or dry herbs, I'm using a mixture of fresh and dry, and then you just wanna mix it all together. Okay, and then you want to put this in the fridge for about an hour to let the flavors come together so the herbs really stand out and have a chance to shine. We had a wonderful mayonnaise that we turned into a delicious homemade vegan ranch. Look at that. You can dip your cauliflower wings in it. You can use it in the centerpiece of vegetables, anywhere that you like. I've got some salad and corn and hummus and the dressing so my husband and I can have some dinner and I'll give it a little taste test and say goodbye. Absolutely delicious and full of flavor. I'm gonna go for the tofu base since it has been in the fridge for an hour and it's gonna be maximum flavor. Very creamy, full of flavor from the herbs and just really fantastic to have around your table or in your kitchen. A great addition. I think you'll really like it. Go to artisticvegan.com to get the recipe. Thank you for spending your time with me. Please like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!